everybody and welcome back to another LEGO review. It's here, you asked for it, we're doing a review of the Moss Eisley set. Now this is a master builder set and this is the first one that you and I have ever built and it mm -hmm. was a blast. Did you have fun? I thoroughly enjoyed this. So here's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the overall fun factor of this build, the build quality and the value. Is it worth it? So let's jump in. All right, so for the fun factor, here's what's super cool. There is so many flushed out iconic movie details from A New Hope sprinkled throughout this set. It is awesome. There's the little droid scanner or the little blue thing that R2 walks by in the beginning of the cantina scene. There's even Arabesh written on some of the containers around the bar that spell out real things like cargo and caution and cantina. Yep, cantina. Right on the door. Those little movie details, when you're putting it together, really make you feel like you're at the Moss Eisley Cantina. They even have the, I don't like you. He doesn't like you either. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> All of those figs, this thing is just mind blowing when it comes to stuff like that. Now, Kara, as far as fun, you kept saying the entire build how much fun you had building this. Well, I like interior designing, and this is as close as I'm gonna get to interior designing with Lego. <laughs> I loved it. There's so many tiny little details, like Jeremy said. The first, I gotta build the first bag, and the first bag had the bar in it. And there's so many little cute details. I just loved it so much. There's little jars, there's little drink dispensers, there's Tap, a bar and a tap. Yep, I We're gonna probably have to love re with re this. rely on B-roll because there's yeah. so much, it's kinda hard to focus on with the top down. I, I am in love with the whole entire thing. It was so much fun. I loved like snapping the little wire piece in and oh my gosh, just, so I don't think there was a single thing I didn't like about building this. So not to mention, they even added detail by putting in a janitor's closet with a broom and extra cargo in there. That's even just for your fun to decorate and play with at a later date. So now we're gonna talk about the overall build quality. And when it comes to overall build quality, it is here. This set is meant to be played with mm -hmm. and the durability is through the roof. All of the little roof panels open so you can see down into the set without destroying or even making it difficult to pull off and use. And you can see, Kara, who's down in that room right there? Is my little Athorian buddy. <laughs> so a fun little Athorian minifig. Just so cool to be able to see these things. One of my favorite features is the fact that in Han Solo's Greedo booth, you can eject Greedo, right? Han shot first, boom, there you go. <laughs> Greedo is down, how cool is that? So when you're playing with this set and you're giving it a hard time, it's gonna stay together, it's gonna be easy to see, easy to use. It, the build quality is there, 10 out of 10 on the build quality. So, all right. We, it's fun to play with. It's got excellent build quality. The value. It's 350 US dollars. Ooh, That's boy. a lot of money for a Lego set. It's the second most I've ever spent on a Lego set ever. And so when it came to it, I was nervous to pull the trigger, but I was extremely excited because it is such an iconic scene. Mm -hmm. So not only do you get the cantina, you get an extra set that LEGO wanted to expand your creativity, let you have a little bit more fun. They give you an extra building and a Jawa junk hut. They give you the details in there. He gets scrap parts, a little crystal that goes inside a backpack. <laughs> All of these things for $351. Well, not to mention there's also the speeder that you see at the beginning of the most Eisley Cantina scene there. You get this speeder and this land speeder, which apparently belongs to Greedo. So with all of these things, 21 minifigs, some new minifigs in this kit, I do say the value is worth it at $350. Yeah. It is, it is, I think, a little bit more bang for your buck. So if you're looking for that Whopper Christmas present, if you're looking for that amazing set that can fun and play with, I would save up the money, forego getting other sets to get this set. Not to mention, Lego was running a surprise promo where if you ordered the Cantina set, you even got a replica of Yoda's lightsaber, which is so cool. It sold out really fast, but this doesn't mean that there's not more sets coming in the future. So keep your eyes out. This could be a line that they're introducing, but you got this for that mm -hmm. in the set as well. So the buildings feel like a bonus, the ships and the saber, all on top of the 21 minifigs, I think it's an extremely valuable set. And, the, and like just sort of touching on the minifigs again too, it's like the entire thing, you have the cantina band. You have, it's basically, if, it, if, if, some, if you saw them in the cantina, they're in this the, set. Yeah. 
I love, I've heard, the Cantina Band is one of my, fi I was looking forward to getting the Cantina Band just for the minifigs. Now, if I wasn't crunching them all here, the set closes up, so it'll be just kind of the last thing for you to see, and you get this cool little decorative piece on top to finish it out, and that is the set. So that, there it is, all said and done. Kara's gonna start putting a couple oh, room pieces on. The Dubak with the Stormtrooper, we didn't even talk about oh, him. Oh yeah, Mr. Dubak. You get the Dubak and a Magma Trooper. You get two sand, sorry, two sand troopers included in this set along with the Dubak. This is a new edition of the Dubak, never before seen. Absolutely awesome. And there's the other minifig chilling in the front of the frame there too. Um, there you get this guy, which Kara, can you do his voice impression? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really good. Cool. Yeah, he's like the spy that the tattles on uh, Luke and Han and chewing all of them. Going he's an imperial ship. spy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the first Which time. Which is he's... shocking because he's an alien yeah. and the Empire hates aliens. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, they use those dirty spies though. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I believe this is the first set he's ever been included in. So that's what's really cool as well. Just so you... an outrageous amount of playability. And like, just, you just like how much could you do with this? It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It. I love it. I'm glad we've got it and added to the collection of Legos we have. And then the final thing is when you're building, as you get to each bag, they spread the minifigs out and the book even goes into detail on different things in relation to what you're building. So it t talks about how Lego got to be creative with the janitor's closet and the extra buildings. Mm -hmm. Those fun little tidbits that make the build just go carry right along nice and smoothly. Yeah, Jeremy, whenever you get to new thing, he'd read it out to us and everything. And it's, it's really cool. It's the amount of... Like, I think the word of the day is detail. Absolutely. Yeah. The moisture evaporators, the, it's the everything. They're so iconic. The sliding doors. Oh, we didn't even talk about the doors. You should rotate that around so people can see it. See the sliding doors? We got just these awesome sliding doors. That's where it says cantina right underneath. And then, boop, little sliding door. Oh, it's so freaking cool. Now, with you and I working together, it took us about seven and a half hours mm -hmm. to build this yep. set. If you want to go check out the speed build, we'll put a link for that here. It's an awesome, fun video. You can see all the mistakes that we made. I highly recommend going and checking that out. We also drop more pieces during the building of this set than we have ever before. I told him it's because I'm pregnant. It's just it's what happens. It was a bit of a, a bit of an event. Yes. <laughs> but so just to summarize, so final score, fun factor out of ten. 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 Okay. Uh, overall build quality out of ten. Ten. All right. And value. Ten. Nine point five. Nine point five. <laughs> if it was cheaper. Yes. If it was cheaper. <laughs> That's always the thing, right? But yeah. no, it's definitely there. So it's solid nine and a half for me. I just couldn't give it all tens. Uh, tens but. across the board for me. I loved this build so much. Yeah. Like that, and I think that is literally the only hurdle that people. Have. I don't think there's anybody that doesn't want this kit. I know. It's just a matter of finding a way to like. Uh, I'm not going to suggest robbing banks or anything, <laughs> <laughs> but Han Solo would find a way to buy it. Absolutely. I mean, it's true. All right. Well, thank you guys for getting to this point of the video. If you made it this far, you've made it to the end of the video. Go ahead and throw a like on here if you want to see more reviews like this in the future. It shows that you're uh, interested in seeing more stuff like this and uh, shows that you're supporting what we're doing here. Comment down below with how you feel about the kit, the absurd amount of minifigs, whether or not you're interested in getting it, if you're, what you're going to do, sell plasma, what you need to do to do it. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Ring the notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course... May the brick be with you.